All right, regular hot dog card in here, huh? All right, fellas, here's how it works. One dog to look at it, two dogs to touch it, three dogs to watch me touch it. Such a nice looking man. Back the up, Antonio! Find it! Hey, look, fellas, I wish I could give you a deal here, but my pimps are real ball-like, you know what I mean? So it's $10 for a BJ, $12 for an HJ, $15 for a ZJ. What's a ZJ? <laughs> if you have to ask, big man, you can't afford it. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another Yo Joe Jerk Toy Review. I'm your host, Leland Palmer, and today we'll be looking at the Marvel Legends series, Grey Hulk and Dr. Banner. All right, and let's take a look at this box. Right off the bat, we get two digital renders, a Grey Hulk. Dr. Banner. I like how they did the cover for the first issue of Incredible Hulk. A little bit of Jack Kirby back there. On this side of the box, another digital render with the Marvel Legends logo. On the back of the package, we get two more digital renders. Angry Hulk. Little Pony Banner. Over here, we get a picture of all the accessories included with Hulk. Over here, we get pictures of no accessories because he doesn't come with jack shit. Down here, a bunch of legal mush. On this side of the package, we get more of the original artwork and your Marvel Legends logo. On the top of the box, we get our Avengers 60 Years of Earth's Mightiest. On the bottom of the box, we get our plastic free, our legal jargon, and more legal shit, and our barcode. All right, let's get this set open. Cut, little pop, and the big pop. All right, this is a big friggin' package. Let's get this thing out. Our Incredible Hulk Tomb. So we pull the front piece out and we get a little bag here and we get the little banner egg roll bag here. And for the main course, we get this big hunking piece of beef right here with its head sticking out. And one more tiny bag. All right, and we're back, and we got everything out of the box, so let's take a look at these figures. First up, we're gonna take a look at Bruce Banner, and I know he is pretty much, other than his head, complete reuse, but I don't care, because I need a Bruce Banner in my collection, and this would also double as a scientist very well. I like the lab coat. A lot of people are bitching about the big orange shirt and the blue tie, but I think it makes him stand out, so I really dig it. The articulation is the standard shit you get with a Marvel legend so i'm not gonna go over that we're just gonna take a quick overview of this figure like i said the head sculpt looks great it's what i would expect out of a comic book version of bruce banner here we go and now we're gonna take a quick look at this hulk and we pretty much all know what we're getting with this hulk it's the same body that they've been using for the last couple of years but it's perfect i have no trouble with it but up here it looks like we got a new upper torso piece because it's definitely not as jacked as the 80th anniversary or the maestro or the green hulk or the purple or the violet or whatever fucking hulk they're making this month but the real crowning jewel is this perfectly fucking amazing head sculpt. This thing is just beautiful. This is everything I would expect from the Frankenstein Grey Hulk head. I don't think you could do much better than this as far as the sunken eyes and the Cro-Magnum forehead. They also did a great job with the photoreal paint and there's light wash around the eyes. Up on the head, it's just strict black sculpting but it looks fantastic on the back of the torso they didn't change much he has that huge butterfly joint thing going on so he has plenty of articulation he comes equipped with the fisted hands and the angry pissed off grin with the exposed teeth but all in all, I think this thing's solid. It doesn't really seem to have much paint on it, but that's okay, because when you hit it with any kind of light, it casts really good shadows on this figure. First up, we're going to look at accessories. We're going to do Bruce Banner first. All he comes with is this tiny pair of glasses. They did a great job. They're translucent with a little bit of paint on them to really give them that real look and feel. They do sit on his head a little crooked, but I do not care because the glasses just 
amp it up even more. Now he really looks like a doctor or a scientist. All right, now we're gonna take a look at the Hulk's accessories. First up, we're gonna take a look at the hands. Now these are very much Hulk hands we've seen before. I don't really have a Hulk that came with the grabby hand, I don't think. So for the left hand, the Hulk can grab something. And on the right hand, it's just open. Pretty much your standard Hulk hands. Next up, we get the giant torn shirt and it looks like it's blood spackled. It's the same shirt that's come with like every Hulk, I'm uh, pretty sure. It's made out of ooey gooey plastic so it can move. Here we have this big black lump of shit that uh, has absolutely no detail. It's just supposed to be some kind of sewer pipe. You know, they should have hit it with some kind of silver paint or some wash. Cause you know, it's just like a $50 box set. And the next thing Hulk comes with is this extra head sculpt and this thing is just perfect. They just nail these head sculpts with these Marvel Legends nowadays. They just can't do any better than this. This is just fucking amazing. The eyes are painted in there perfect. He's got a little bit of dark circles under his eyes. There's some light painting in the lips and like I said, I couldn't ask for a better Hulk head sculpt. Here's Hulk with that extra head sculpt, the somber head. I fucking love this. And also I changed up the hands so he's got the grabby hands. They work great. This guy over here can hold that lump of shitty plastic. Here's the crappy broken pipe in his hand. I wish they just put some more into it than just like a very dull no paint thing. It looks so so it's just gonna go in a drawer junk. And here's Hulk with his orange shirt. It looks amazing. I love the uh, blood speckles all over it. I think that's a nice touch. It fits on there good and it's molded to the body really well. I think it just adds to this Hulk even more. And for a quick comparison, we have him with Maestro and the 80th Anniversary Hulk, which is my favorite Hulk. But holy shit, this thing is fucking amazing with them. I really like how they changed the torso up. Now, I'm gonna grab him and bring him closer to the camera so you can see that they actually did change up that upper torso. Now, I don't own too many of the movie figures, so I don't know if this torso came off of a movie figure or the original release of the Grey Hulk, but I like how they changed it up. And here we have him with two other Hulks. We have him with the Red Hulk and we have him with the ridiculous Compound Hulk. But all in all, like I said, if you're just a fan of the traditional Hulks, this thing is a great first appearance Hulk or he'll work great in an Ultimates display because in the original Ultimates 1 and 2, the Hulk is actually gray. I want to go over a real quick kit bashing idea because if you didn't feel like you were getting your value out of this set i already think that this thing's the greatest gray hulk figure they've made so far for marvel legends but there's a whole bunch of other science characters in marvel that we could probably kit bash him into and here you go why it's nerdy dr stark you can have a science lab tony stark with glasses and all if you feel like it you could also do a in the lab Peter Parker if you like. I couldn't find my Renew Your Vows 2 pack head, but this one will work for now. Or we could have Dr. Bullseye, who looks fucking nuts. I'm fucking nuts, bro. So at the end of the day, and my final thoughts are, this two pack is very exciting. You get an awesome new gray Hulk, and you also get Bruce Banner. And if you don't care about Bruce Banner, you could just use him as a scientist in the background, or you you could kit bash him in the whatever the hell you want. But all in all, this was the last Hulk that really needed to be done properly. And it looks fantastic. And I have nothing bad to say about this set. I think the value's there. And that's all I got this week, people. I'd like to thank you for stopping by, and I'll catch you on the next review. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.